And so this first one is called pre-quarantine. Someone called to see what I was doing. I hadn't left my apartment in days, my eyes devouring the screen, my first meal. Argento, nourish me please, I asked. He pulled me through the painting, Stendhal syndrome. Third film of the day, third symphony of color, third head of madness. Is that better? He asked. I didn't know what to say. Am I better? Am I dipping further? The phone still rang. Hello? Should I come over? I don't know. Am I stuck in madness? The woman in the film doesn't know what's real, nor do I. It had been five nights since my body numb, air around me vacant. And then the second one is called Disappearing Blonde. Lux Lisbon's blonde hair whips in the wind and I wish I was sitting next to her in the car, smiling at her for the fake ending. It ended abruptly, cut to black, cut to her in the car in the garage, cigarettes still lit against the noxious gases, cut to me in my teenage bedroom wondering if a kiss would make her happy. She gave me the movie fantasy of the happy ending I wanted for her. I wish I could ask her why, ask her what she thought about she was doing, ask her if there was really no escape, but my efforts were futile because I can't talk to a, to a character in my TV screen because Lux Lisbon doesn't exist because she is Kirsten Dunst in 1999. I wonder if the soul of her knows she was my first love, that I have memorized her story for safekeeping, that I tenderly share the knowledge of it with friends, but only if they are deserving. I wonder what it would be like if I had blonde hair, if I went through her tragedy, if I had my last smoke in the family garage. <laughs>